Hi, I had a question from, or actually four questions from a student, so I'm going to work them out here, and hopefully they make sense. So 1.2, number 69, and that says, it's the negative sixth root of 64. So, um, well, let's think about 64. 64 can be broken down into 8 times 8, a can be broken down into 4 times 2, 4 into 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 2 times 2. So it looks like we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 of those. So that's 2 to the 6th power. So we have the negative 6th root of 2 to the 6th power. 6th root, 6th power that cancels, so it's just negative from outside, 2. Number 99. We have the cube root of, the fourth root of, x to the 36th. And that's going to be, you have two ways to do this. You could multiply these indices and make it the 12th root of, or you could say the fourth root of x to the 36th is going to be 36 divided by 4 is 9. The cube root of x to the 9th, 9 divided by 3, is 3. So x cubed. Now, because we have a fourth root, the actual technical way to do this is it would be an absolute value here, an absolute value there, because an even indexed root produces a positive only. So we have to make sure it stays positive. And there's our answer. Let's look at 1, 4. Number 5. That says the square root of negative 32x. So think of 32. What's a perfect square factor of 32? Well, 16. So it'd be like 16 times 2 times negative 1 times x. So the square root of 16, square root of 16 is 4. The square root of negative 1 is i. And then we have it left under the radical 2x. And then number 37. We have the square root of negative 9 times the square root of negative 2. Now the square root of negative 9, that's just going to be, think of that as 9 times negative 1 times the square root of 2 times negative 1. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of negative 1 is i. And here we have a square root of negative 1 is i. And that's square root of 2. So 3 times i from the first part. i times square root of 2 from the second part. That's going to be 3i squared root 2. And i squared is negative 1, so that is negative 3 times the square root of 2. I hope that helps. Okay, I think I saw, <coughs> excuse me, I did the wrong problem. I did 99, but there it is. 89 was the problem. We have x minus y over the square root of x plus the square root of y. And it says to simplify the radicals by rationalizing the, the denominator. So to rationalize that, we'd multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. That's square root of x minus the square root of y over square root of x minus square root of y, so we're multiplying by 1. The numerator is going to be x minus y times square root of x minus square root of y. But the denominator, because it's square root of x plus square root of y times square root of x minus square root of y, becomes square root of x times square root of x is square root of x squared, which is x. Square root of y times square root of y is square root of y squared, which is y, with a minus in between them. And look at this, the numerator, that factor, 
can reduce with the denominator so that this divides out there and we end up with square root of x minus square root of y. Okay, I think that does it now.